What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and today we are going through my 2020 trash. It's beauty, hair, hope, anything that came from subscriptions that I didn't like, whatever, all of it, trash. And I, it doesn't mean that it's necessarily empties. It's just it could be empty and it could not be empty. Um, but you know what? I was, it was just a year that I really became ruthless about getting rid of stuff. Um, if I didn't like it, if it just wasn't that good, all of it. And so this is the year it's going, it's out of here. So if you're interested to see what I got rid of this year or what my trash is, then just hang with me. All right, before we get into it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up right down there if you enjoyed today's video, and do make sure to subscribe and ring that bell as well if you haven't done so already. For those of you returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. It really means a lot to me. It makes me feel like I'm not talking to myself. Oh, what, you want out? You see that? You see him right there? He can't decide if he wants inside or outside of here. Hang on, dummy. Oh yeah. It won't back in in five minutes. So just in case you're curious how much trash I have, <laughs> I have most of this beach tote here. But it's pretty heavy, probably weighs like 10 pounds. So I'm not gonna go in any particular order. I'm just gonna show you what it is and give you my thoughts on it. <laughs> so here we have a co-wash from Esalon. This is a cream co-wash and I thought it was really just meh. I definitely did not and will not be repurchasing this. So there's another one that I did get at the same time and this is the Weekly Retreat Hair Mask. I went through the whole thing as well but I really just didn't find it to be all that, all that special. Okay, next up I have the Origins Original Skin Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer with willow herb and it's the one it's like a little mousse that you squirt out and it's cooling and it really is it really took me a while to become so in love with this i actually think i will probably repurchase it and it lasted so so long like and i literally there's nothing left in this i used every little drop of it super loved it here is just a moisturizer it's a, a body butter it's a pacifica in the tuscan blood orange i love this scent from them their blood orange scent is amazing um but i've had this for so long it went bad all right here is something that i'm just throwing out I, even though i have a little bit left of just because um it's really old and this is the lancome energy davy it's like a liquid moisturizer and I, I like it. I can't say that it really did anything to my skin. I did use it really consistently for the bulk of the product, but so I just kind of found it to be okay. All right, and next, this is something that came in one of my BoxyCharm boxes. This is the Touch and Soul No Pore Blem Serum primer or prime essence and i used there's still a little bit in here i did use most of it and i didn't really find it to actually do much of anything i didn't hate it but i didn't love it here i have one of my clinical skin uh, skincare grade items by lira and this is um what the bio oh this was like the hyaluronic acid i am currently using just like a hyaluronic acid that's basically like a it's not a dupe it's a wannabe of this um, right now just because it came in a subscription. But as soon as I empty that one, I will be getting this again. I really, really love how my skin has been since I've just been using and sticking to the Lyra, the Lyra clinical product line. So I will be going back to that soon. All right. <laughs> this is something that just got really old and I never really got to use it up. Um, I never really totally enjoyed this either. This is the Kula setting spray with an SPF. I never really loved it. So that one is going in the trash. I just have a used up bottle of body wash from Bath and Bot. Oh, Bath, yeah, Bath and Body Works, um, A Thousand Wishes. This was gifted to me like a Christmas ago and uh, in a set and um, yeah, it's pretty good. You know, it's Bath and Body Works body wash. They're all nice. Okay, here is a fail. This is the Tarte Clean Green or Clean Queen vegan deodorant and it 
Oh, it actually has a nice smell. It's just, I just didn't find that it did anything. I felt like when I was working out in a tank top and stuff, I would like, it just, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. So it didn't, didn't cut it. So I didn't even come close to using it up, but I could not continue to use it either. So in the trash it goes. This is funny. This is a brand new product. Mm. And this came in a boxy term or, or maybe a FabFitFun. Um, but, and it's called the Laundress uh, Crease Release Mist or something. And you're supposed to like spray it on your like, some of like long sleeve shirts and stuff to release it from the wrinkles. And I just think this is like the lamest thing ever. I don't need, I don't have clothes that struggle with that. So, So and next I have a Olaplex and it's their Bonch Maintenance Shampoo. You guys, this is the best shampoo. Uh, I really, really like this, especially when my hair was really dirty. This is really, really great stuff. And this, it's not that big of a bottle, but it did last me a very long time. And I did buy an extra, um, it just comes like with like, maybe it's kind of like a regular cap, but I bought a pump for it off of Amazon. Um, and I'm glad this is here because this reminds me, I do want to buy another one of these. I didn't care so much for the conditioner. I didn't find that to be rehydrating at all. I didn't really care for it, but the shampoo is amazing. And when I pair that with like an, um, like a, what was it? Redken all soft conditioner, wonderful combination. So, this stuff is amazing and I would say that it is worth its cost because I know that these are costly. This is a concealer that I did not use up. It is by Tres, Tres, Tresteek. <laughs> and this is like, it's like a magnetic kind of like lid there. And it's just a little, stick, you know, a retractable stick. It, well, first it wasn't even the right color. It's a little dark for me and I didn't find that even when I tried to use it around the face for a few spots here and there, it didn't last. It didn't really work well. So I was just like, mm. I didn't even find it worth passing on to someone else. So I am tossing this as well. This is a must. You've got to get this. I think this stuff is amazing. It's the Bye Bye uh, Makeup 3-in-1 Melting Cream cleansing balm. I bought another one, y'all. I used this sucker up. There is nothing left in it. It's nice. It's just this, even if I don't want to use it all over my face, it's so perfect to just clean off and get rid of all of my mascara and eyeliner. It's really great. I got another one. Here is a favorite of mine, and this is the IGK Mistress um, like leave-in conditioner. It's really great. It's a coconut-based one. It's like this, uh, or gel to like water almost consistency. And I've been through a handful of these since they've come out. I was working at Sephora when they had come out with this one and I think it was, or maybe that's just when I discovered it. <laughs> okay, that could be true too. But I've been through like maybe three or four of these. So I really liked this when I had extensions in. So I had a ton of hair. It worked really well for that. It's funny because I think it says it's for like medium hair or something like that. But I have really like fine, thin hair. And I found this to be really great. Actually, I probably need to get some more of this because I've been using something else. And I just don't like it. It's like leaving my hair... Ooh, I don't like it. Like it looks like it need to be washed again. I just washed it this morning. Not good. So yeah, this is really great stuff. I highly, highly recommend. So I mentioned this and I think there's even might, there might still be some in here, but this is the Olaplex conditioner. Uh, it's just okay. I don't find it to be all that great. In fact, I didn't even waste my time to just like use every drop out of it. And I did pay for the pump. So I don't know, I should take the pump off and like keep it probably maybe for something else. But I would say that this is a pass. Oh my gosh, you guys look here. I didn't even, I mean, it's been a whole year and I think there actually might be a little bit in here. So I'm probably gonna try to squeeze out the last of this, but I found another IGK Mistress tube. So here is another deodorant that I tried. It is, is a La Vanilla. This is the Sport Lux deodorant. And I used it many times, but I just don't find it. You guys, I just haven't had any luck with these aluminum free. I just stick with like my men's Dove 
deodorant. It works the best. I got these in a subscription box for sure. I don't really buy makeup removing wipes anymore because I just use to the washable towels that I throw in the laundry. I've pretty much gotten away from using these entirely. But so this is by AM Beauty Care. It's the Dead Sea Minerals Vitamin C Makeup Remover Wipes. And there's still a ton of wipes in here. I think it probably, this is what happens with them. They dry out. It's, the whole thing just, it's just, you know, or they're not wet enough. And then when I go to use them on my eyes, I get like sores on my eyes. So it's just not worth it. Probably should have kept more of these. I went through several, just like, you know, press on nails, not press ons, but like glue ons. I never do press ons. I always do glue on. So uh, yeah, so this was just a set that I did and it's like this like pretty lilac-y lavender shade in a matte combined with a, a glitter. So, but just recognizing I did wear some fake nails. Um, what else do we have here? I've got the, the Belief Moisturizing and Firming Eye Balm. I had this in my travel bag for a really long time and I finally just used it all up. Um, this was just like, I think this came in like a holiday set or something that I got a really long time ago. But when I ran out of my eye cream, I just wanted to use up some of this other stuff. It was pretty good, you know, I mean, it's hydrating. All right, next we have Revlon Color Stay Lipstick Stick. And this is in the shade, it's, it's, these were the matte balms, the shade 250 standout. I mean, there's, it's, I mean, it's a little old, but I'm, I'm just totally getting rid of, I'll show you what else. I'm getting rid of these old lipsticks that typically just dry out my lips. Recently, what, on the back of the fall, I wore this NARS lip pencil, and this is in Consuming Red. It's super pretty, but my lips became so dried out just from wearing it for a half a day that it took like, okay, well, I do really struggle that way my lips get dried out. I pick at them a lot, <laughs> so that didn't help me, but it took a few weeks to, for my lips to recover. And so I just bowed after that. I was like, I'm just not going to continue to subject my lips to wearing stuff like that. <laughs> like life's too short. I don't need to like torture my lips and torture myself by wearing all this. So I've got Consuming Red Lip Pencil from NARS. I've got the Revlon lip one, and then I've got what this Lolita, Lolita, and Lolita 2, look Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. You know, they're just all going like life is too short. Like I don't general I don't genuinely enjoy wearing that. So I'm not going to. Okay, so here is the deodorant that I do use most of the time, and this is the Dove of men plus care. I get it at Sam's Club in bulk and it's an extra fresh and it works great, especially when I'm working out a bunch. I finished up a travel size of the Urban Decay's All Nighter Setting Spray, the original formula. It's my absolute favorite, absolute favorite. I did also use up a bottle of Morphe's Continuous Setting Mist. I used every single drop of this guy is great. I've been having kind of some issues with the strawberry scented one. Here we have Dry Bar's Prep Rally um, prime and prep detangler. And I found, it might just be because I let it get old, but it was making my hair like sticky um, and not just like completely touchable when I went to do my hair. So I'm getting rid of it. I don't think that's necessarily probably a bad product. I think I just let it get too old before really going to use it. And that's one of the problems that you have when you have too much makeup or you work on a makeup place and you get too much makeup. and hair stuff and so first world problems I know <laughs> so here is a really cool product that I, I really enjoyed um, I did a lot of things with this this is the Milani's make it last setting spray it's really great stuff and it's so inexpensive okay actually this is something I just threw in here so this is a tinted eye gel from a brand called Mellow. And it came, I believe, in a subscription box. I think Boxychar maybe. Really the problem is with this is that the, look how big, look how ginormous this wand is. It, 
it's bigger than my brow. So, which is saying something because I actually have pretty big brows. Here I have a bottle of Max Pro Longwear Concealer. This is in the shade NW20 and it's super duper old. You guys, I bought this for my wedding. I've been married six and a half years. Well, I threw this in trash and like something got on it that made it all yucky. But this is a MAC lip liner. I should probably get it in again. It's in Staunchy Stylish and it's a Pro Long Wear lip pencil. I got that for my wedding as well. Here's another shade and you can see I, oh my gosh, it's shameful how much product is still in here. But this is another shade that I got for like when I'm more tan of the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. This is an NC30. It wasn't really even a great color for me. I don't know why I let them sell it to me. Oh my gosh, there's so much in here. Okay, here's another of NARS lip pencil. This is in Cruella, a really nice red one as well. But y'all, I just am not gonna torture my lips anymore. Yeah, so, and then here's a NARS liquid lip in warm leatherette. And this was one of those really weird um really watery formulas that they made i didn't really care for the formula and the application it's super dry torture torture okay let's just switch gears mascaras this is the benefits they're real mascara it's you know kind of just a classic i don't love the wand on this i also went through a tube of the black l'oreal lash paradise i super love this i also have it in black brown that i like to do use on my lower lashes a lot and i have the primer i really like the primer as well to use with like any mascara so i when I get through more of my mascaras, I will be purchasing this some more. I also went through a Tarte Big Ego. This came in a subscription box as well. I didn't like it at first, but then it kind of grew on me. It was one of those. Um, but I mean, it's a really big wand, which I don't love, but I finished that up. And usually when I finish something up, it's because it starts flaking on my face. And then I'm like, I bet my mascara is just dried up and too old. So that's also what happened with this one. I went through a tube of Milk's Makeup's um, Kush Mascara. It's okay. This actually still has some in here, but I, I don't know. I just didn't totally love it. And I was just like, I'm gonna move on to some ones that I like more before they get too old to use as well. This is actually one that I did like, and this came in a subscription box as well. This is by Hank and Henry, and this is a dual ended. It had like the really skinny little lower lash line um, wand as well as upper lash wand. And I really enjoyed that. I hadn't bothered like using one of those before. And um, while it didn't coat my lashes as much as just using a uh, a one general mascara. I really enjoyed this. I wouldn't necessarily go out of my way to purchase it, but I liked using it while I had it. Next we have Butter London's uh, Power Up Mascara, and it's just in a black formula, plastic, synthetic wand. It's okay. It didn't do anything fantastic for me. Now this is one's really funny. So I recently, like a week or so ago, got this little, travel sample size of Anastasia Beverly Hills's new Lash Brag mascara. I, I didn't even bother to really continue to do this because look how close the wand is to the handle. It's really hard to use and I just think it's such a fail to even make a product like this. Here is a liquid liner from Stila. It's just their classic black one that they have everywhere. Oh, actually, I think this is, yeah, this is the micro tip one. I really like the micro tip one. Um, I wouldn't go out of my way to purchase it again though. I would probably just get the regular one. I got this also yeah, as my employee number when I worked at Sephora and I finally just used it up. So it lasted a really long time but I wouldn't go out of my way for that little micro tip. Maybe that's just because of my eye shape and kind of just the way I use eyeliner, so. I have a mini travel size of the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the Trooper Black, and I use that up. Um, it's awesome. I will always continue to buy that one, probably. 
I have two liquid eye liner pencils in a blue, a navy blue and a purple from Milani. Um, fantastic ones. I think I just, I've had these so, so long. I went through the black ones really fast, but I just didn't use these as quickly. So I think they're just like not as enjoyable to use anymore because they're just drier and they're just old and I just need to get new ones and I'm sure I will love the new ones because they'll be fresh and not like decades old. <laughs> Here's a regular one that I was talking about of a Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Great, great, great. I love the applicator and I will continue to buy that as well. Here is a ColourPop Super, uh, ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadow in the color Blaze. I didn't completely use it up, but it wasn't um, performing the way and it's like this bronzy, I think it's showing up more just gold for you, but um, it's a bronzy shade and I did hit pan on it, but it's, I was just like, you know what? It's curling up from the edges and stuff and it's just old, it's had its day. So eh, those are awesome and I will always get more of those. Um, I did go through a full jar of Laura Mercier's um, Secret Brightening Powder and this stuff is fantastic for underneath the eyes. It is so, so finely milled. Oh, I got this as a promo. Like I use a promo code when I made an, an online Sephora order. And this is a bare, a sample of a Bare Minerals foundation in the Complexion Rescue uh, stick. And I mean, it's kind of a joke to like use this. I mean, really would have done better as a concealer because it's just so, so tiny. I mean, I was like, using this whole, but I did use most of it. I mean, that's that's all that's left, you guys. That's that's it, that is all there is. Um, so, you know, I gave it a good go. I didn't, I didn't like though. I didn't really care for the formula. But this is a small like sample size of Dermalogica's SPF. It's just their Age Smart um, cream. And I really like this. This worked really well with my makeup as well. Um, and I, if I didn't love my super goop, no. So yeah, super goop on screen, I would get this, but I have a big thing of that. So I don't need that anymore. <sighs> I use up, I need to get another one of these. There's just nothing like this. This is so amazing. You guys, this is the Lyra Mystique perfecting eye cream. It's like 80 bucks or something, but it's, it's amazing. And it did last me probably like eight months and I used it pretty regularly. I did use it sparingly because it's pricey, but the Lyra products are amazing and completely worth it. Um, I decided to get rid of, I think I used up most of it, but um, this is the Murad Professional eye lift firming treatment and this came out a really long time ago and it was sold with these like eye patches so the, th the idea was that you would put pump a bunch of this onto your finger apply it under then you put the patch on your skin underneath you leave it there for uh 10 to 15 minutes but i was never that committed to it i just use it as an eye moisturizer treatment mm, so I just wasn't really the best choice for that product. I used up, I mean, I guess I could probably still get a little bit out of here, but it's funny because I still hear, you know, these gloss bombs are freaking amazing. Yeah, I mean, I can just barely get any out of here, but this is the Fenty Gloss Balm and Fenty Glow. These are just amazing. I really will be getting more of these um, when I use up more of my own stuff. Um, this came recently in a BoxyCharm, uh, subscription. I actually just posted the video on it recently. Um, I can't remember which month it came in. It was in my November or October box, but, um, and I used it a few times and it was terrible. Um, it's by Alamar Cosmetics and it was so dry looking. I mean, I use it now. I don't know. Like, I mean, that's what it looks like, but it was so dry looking on my eyelids. I was like, I will never use this again. Bye bye. We're getting to the end of this. This was part of a 500 point reward from Amore Pacific. I love their stuff too. Mostly just because it smells like you just stepped into like a luxury salon. But this is the Amore Pacific cleansing oil. It's amazing. It worked, you know, just fine. Like any kind of 
cleansing oil. Like there wasn't anything actually so special about it. It just smelled amazing. Um, and this is the treatment enzyme peel that went with it in the same um, box, came in the same box. You know, nothing special. I would not go out of my way to purchase those. Okay, this is something that I had in my, my collection for a really, really long time. And I just came to terms with the fact that I don't use it. And this is the photo, the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer in Smoke. And basically it is a, so basically it is a black, black-ish um, eyelid, eyelid shadow primer. And the idea is that then you, by applying it's supposed to like be an easier way of having a dark base under these shadows that have like that sort of black base to them to make them really pop. But I didn't really like the way that it blends out. And then like, you kind of need to use two primers because you don't want it like all over your brow bone and stuff. And I was just like, I just didn't use it. Here I use up a tube of NARS Creamy Concealer in Creme Brulee. Um, 2.5 creme brulee and it's okay. You know, I think it's not like the most fabulous concealer. I really love my Milani Conceal and Perfect concealers. Um, I think the NARS matte one is fantastic. Like those are way more worth a hype than this. So a long time ago I went through and I pressed some of my loose glitters and I just came to terms with the fact that I'm really overusing loose glitter dealing with all the fallout and the cleanup and just all of the hassle of it. I am really leaning towards sticking with just like the, um, kind of like the already creamed eyeshadow glitters. So I'm getting rid of the rest of, of this NYX one that I have. And this is like a makeup forever one that I just have like a sample of. They can go bye bye. Here I have the Bite Beauty Sleeping, it's the Nighttime Lip Therapy Agave Mask. I did not like this. It is not nearly as hydrating and long lasting as the mask that comes in the tube. So bye bye, we'll never buy you again. I really got into the hype about using the Real Techniques body sponge for your foundation. Even when I dampened it though, I just found that it soaked up too much of my foundation product and made it really hard to apply. Here I have the L'Oreal Micro Brow Pen and it's like supposed to have like make little hair strokes and stuff, but I just don't find it really does. I don't really enjoy using it. So it's going bye bye. Okay, just two more things. I'm getting rid of this Wet n Wild Nail Polish and Disturbia. I'm going through my nail polishes, testing them out to see which ones are just junk and too old and need to be go bye bye. And I also have this lit clearly liquid glitter base. It's just so slow to dry and so lovey. Have a good one. Bye bye. <laughs> All right, well, with that said, uh, that concludes my trash for 2020. That is everything that is going bye-bye. I have been collecting it all year for you guys. And now it's going to go in the trash, the big trash outside, because there's a lot of it. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give a like down below. Also, question of the day, are you making this a purchase year or are you like staying away from purchasing new makeup this year? Or, like, you know, or like minimizing it. I've really been trying to reduce my collection and use up stuff before it gets old because it's a total waste of my money. So what are you guys doing this year? Are you trying to reduce the amount of new stuff that you're purchasing or is it just a free for all like any other year? Let me know down in the comments below and make sure to give it a like if you enjoyed today's video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'll see you later. Stay well, stay blessed. <music>